So hi there folks, we're now in our next video in the introduction to statistics. And in this video, we're going to talk about the types of analysis that we do um, every time we deal with um, statistics. So again, uh, my source is a handout, or are the handouts, created by Dr. Sweet Rose Linares. So first up, we have uh, two types of analysis that we're going to um, tackle. Okay, so the first one is what we call the descriptive and inferential types of analysis. Okay, so with this, um, we will be discussing each one of them um, in detail. Um, again, um, as you can see, these names are also taken or very <laughs> actually the same with the branches of statistics, right? The descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. So let's have them in detail. So first is descriptive. So what is what do you mean when you say you're, ana you're analyzing descriptively? So this is only limited to the description of a particular group being studied and the conclusion okay, cannot be applied to cases outside of the study group. Okay, so every time we do a conclusion with this is descriptive stat, we only talk about the, the case inside that group, okay, inside that, 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 um, that population, shall we say. Okay, so, or a sample, shall we say. So that, but cannot be applied outside of it. Um, whereas in the inferential, so this application of the findings or conclusions from a small group, which we call the sample again, to a large group, which we call the population, from which the smaller group was drawn. Again, the sample, this, this small group is a representative of this large group, which is the population. So this sample is a part of this population. Actually, the correct term actually is a subset of the population. And then the findings from this sample will be um, concluded also in the same, in the same um, large group or population. So we can cr we can show a diagram of how these two types of analysis um, is is being done. Okay, so this is our diagram here. So let's study first all all of them. Both of them are all um, ending up in this conclusion. Okay, always with in which this conclusion is always about the bigger group or the the large group, which is the population. Okay, let's start first with the with the population study. So in a population study, first thing we will do, since it's a population, we will now collect data. Let's start with the collection of data. After we collect that data, we will be organizing it. Okay, since this this collection, okay, of course this collection is kind of messed. It's kind of messed up. It, it will be a messy um, raw data. So we will need to organize it. After we organize, we put it we put it in the correct presentation. And after the correct presentation, we will now analyze. So what's the meaning of this number? So therefore, we can conclude that after that, we, could, we can conclude about this population since we have taken the data from the population. Okay, so again, if it is a population study, we collect, we organize, we present, we analyze, and then we conclude. Whereas when we do a sample study, first thing that we need to do, we are given, of course, a population. Now we need to do first the sampling. This sampling is what we call, um, is a term called when we are taking representative samples from a big group, which is the population. So we have our population, but we need only a small part of that. So that's what we call sampling. The procedure is called sampling. After we, we have the sample, we know where we can find the data. We know we can, where we can gather the data. So we need to collect it right now since we have the sample. So collection, likewise, we have organization. Likewise, we have presentation, and likewise, we have the analysis, okay? The same is which in which the procedures are similar, okay? So we collect data. After we collect that, that um, raw data, we organize it, we present it, and then we analyze. After we analyze this data here, we need to interpret it, okay? This interpretation will then give us um, a thing wherein we interpret um, based on this sample study, and then we will conclude that this the population is doing that. Okay, again, we analyze and then we interpret based on the sample study, and we will relate that, we will conclude that, that the conclusion is also doing that. Okay, or the conclusion um, is, is going to be about the population, so where the sample is taken from. So meaning, from this small data, um, from this small representative sample that we have, Okay, from this population study, we will study that and then we will interpret that this thing 
or this result is happening in the sample which will also be reflected in the in the in the population the large group which is going to be our conclusion okay so we have some important notes to be taken care of and not forgotten okay take note of this so um, avoid any one of these two possible errors okay first of which tells us doing a population study but you used inferential statistics to arrive at the conclusion okay so since we have the population already so we don't need inferential statistics in doing so okay because we don't we don't need to have the sample we don't need to have the interpretation okay we can have the analysis and then go directly to the conclusion okay so avoid this error so when we have if ever we have the population data number two doing a sample study but we did not or but you did not use inferential statistics to arrive at the conclusion so every time you have a sample study um, if you want to, uh, to to have the your conclusion you must use inferential statistics so if you're doing a sample study and you did not use inferential stats so that's something that we need to avoid okay and always remember that inferential statistics is applied only in order to generate conclusion about the population again based on a sample data again inferential statistics is applied only in order to generate conclusion about the population the large group of data based on the sample data or the small amount of data the representative data so that's why it's called inferential statistics it infers that from this sample data um, indeed this happens in the population okay so yeah that's it for this video in the types of analysis um thank you very much for watching and um, see you in the next video. Okay? Thank you.